guys welcome back welcome back to alan wake let's see if we can finish episode four i know i left off in the middle of it so let's go ahead and see if we can just go ahead and finish it um i know if anybody was watching before that realized i passed up the manuscript i do remember um for some reason it hasn't left my memory that it's right there i will grab it you gotta get this ammo first um but yes someone had left a gun behind Game now really I have a fighting chance of reaching the farm. All right, why is the sensitivity? I don't know. Now it's just so weird. The sensitivity on this game compared to any other game I play is just so weird. Coffee? I didn't see that last time. All right. So let's see what this manuscript has to say. But thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Um, I don't know if you all like this game, but I actually enjoy it so far. Uh, after this, I'm thinking about playing another. I guess you want to call it a scary game. I don't know if I really call this too much of a scary game. It has its moments, but it's not really that scary. Um, thinking about playing The Evil Within and then The Evil Within 2. I have never played either of those games as well. So I'm thinking about getting into those. Uh, let me know what you think. if that's a, Or Alien Isolation. I have played a little bit of it, but I have not beat it. And uh, that seems to be like a really good game. So one of those two. Not sure. We got to focus on this one right now, though. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. All right, so let's see how can we get this. Uh... All right, we obviously don't go in here for it. Um, do we go up this to get it? Possible? Oh gosh, nope. Okay. Uh, ah, I don't think it'll let me. It kind of pushes me off. But I feel like... Oh, that's the only gun I got. I forgot. I feel like that's the only way, though. No? Okay, here we go. There you go, Alan. Don't lose your balance. That's what I'm talking about, Alan. I land softly. Okay, that works as well. Got it, got it. Anything else up here? Useful? Bear trap. Hey, can I, can I do anything with that? No. Anything over here? Oh. Pfft. Yeah. There's stairs. Didn't notice that. Wow. Hey, man. You want to back up? Huh. Just trying to get my coffee. The hard way apparently I didn't take the stairs so uh, yeah or I could have just went this way Wow all right in the future remember to look uh, remember to look at all possible actions how about that hold on one second guys all right there we go yeah all right uh, Skyrim why Skyrim what is going on actually hold on a second Skyrim. Um, Skyrim's a very long game. I'm not going to play Skyrim. I apologize. That's just too long. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Why am I not finding what I need to find? Huh. All right. Yeah, Skyrim's too long of a game. Too many, uh, that, that would just be too long, because I like to do all the side quests, all that, and that's just too much. I've already beat Skyrim as well. I'm trying to play games I haven't beat. Um, and Skyrim was an amazing game. And just to run through it wouldn't do it justice. Oh, shit. There we go. What you got? What you got, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Getting too close? Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't throw it. Back up. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Back up. Fuck. Fallout 4, same thing. Fallout 4, and you know, I would want to play more linear games instead of uh, open world exploration game just because, like I said, you could last a while. Oh shit. You could take a long time playing those games as opposed to a linear game that won't take too long. Hold on. Then that's all you start doing for like the oh you son of a bitch. 
you that's all you start doing for like the next past eight months come on guys will you all chill the fuck out I, I don't have much ammo left so I'm we're gonna oh fuck holy shit get away nope 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 nope, nope. get away I'm gonna try to outrun him ah oh, you son of a bitch I feel like that one girl that got hit in the head with the shovel when she was trying to run away can you remember her name they made a whole meme out of her okay Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit. Listen, listen, guys, chill. Chill! Look, I'm safe. Get away. Alright, we're good. I could see the car, but there was we're no safe. sight of the driver. And, kind of, and I kind of want to keep up with the Hello? theme of, uh. Anybody here? Of scary ah! games. Well. Mary! Ah! Where's he at? I guess he's upstairs. Hold on, man. I'll get to you in a second. Chill out. Let me get everything down here. You'll be fine. I'm sure it's just a scratch. What you got going up here, man? Um, can I not? Oh, got a fucking chair? What the fuck? Hello? 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 Anybody home? Oh shit. I know oh, you. Fuck. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's something bad guy. Spit it out, man. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? Oh, shit. I wrote it, man. I'm sorry, bro. Is that it? Oh, he just died. Okay. Did you need that oxygen, man? Alright, well. I feel like I could have tried to... Oh. I've run through every tried to do, like, CPR or something. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. All right. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers, in a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Should have wrote your escape a lot. Can you write me some more ammo, man? Can you do me that? Why don't you write that you're invincible and you can't die? That'll work. We could do that. Somebody's down here. Oh yeah, man. Oh shit, that guy's big. Yeah, man, get fucked. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Let me let me reload. Chill. Oh really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get your cornbread ass out of here. Yeah, Danny. It's a big boy. And he was a big boy. Ooh, more sugar ammo. Nice. How much I bring me up to? Nine? Okay. Okay, we can work with nine. Alright, Danny. Thanks for giving me, well, I was going to say a way out, but... Front door was locked. Yeah. Thanks for giving me a way out. Danny! How the fuck did you get through this so easy? Why can't I get... Th oh, son of a bitch. This window. I can climb out through the broken window. Thank you. Uh, can you? Still a good distance away. I need it took a you a while. To get there fast. Let's see if there's any Folgers. There's a manuscript. 
Hartman considers Mott an For a moment, wake. Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Sounds fun. I guess that's where I'm heading over there. Um, I'm not gonna explore anymore over here. We're good. Anything on the shitter? Nope. Now let's roll. Literally. All right. Is probably in trouble down the farm. For a moment, I felt bad. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. Hold on, Folgers. I forgot the driving of this game is kind of difficult. Definitely not updated. Alright, man, I like the light up there. Ah, oh, should we stop? We should. We're stopping. Maybe there's something good in here. Maybe I have some more ammo. Oh. Yeah, it's one of these supply crates, so we're definitely. We're good. Flashbangs. I like it. Those things do work. Batteries for my vibrator. Nice, nice. Anything up there? Nothing? Okay. More ammo. I bet you there's going to be people out here once I go out. We'll take this Jeep. It's undamaged. I can fix that. Start that baby up. Let's go. Surprised nobody tried to ambush me. Okay. What happened? I thought that thing was lit up up there. Huh. Maybe I'm tripping. Alright, what's going on? Hello? Anybody home? Uh, see, there's light. Hunting rifle. No, we'll stick with the shotgun. Actually, we might go with the hunting rifle. Let's see has, what, what has more ammo. Yeah, we'll stick with the hunting rifle. What, what's this fuck? What's this fucker well, talking about? As I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat May. I'm confused, man. I could, I could use a hand. Safe and warm tonight. Oh, shit. I'm not safe. I'm, I don't know if it's warm, honestly. I can't tell, but... Pat, you're an asshole, man. You just sit in your nice, comfy office. Just listening to tunes and talking about gossip. And look, I gotta deal with this fucker with the nails. Look at him. What's this about, man? Look, look, this is rude. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Eat that, man. What else? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Chill out. Chill out. If he touches my car, you see him? Get away from my car, fucker. Get your own. Shit. I don't have any insurance on that thing, man. You know? Sorry to yell at you, but it's not insured. So if you could uh, put the pickaxe away, that'd be great. Put the pickaxe down. Alright, man. Sorry I had to go that way. You just weren't paying attention, so. Alright. Let's get to this farm. It's long overdue to get to this farm. Oh shit, there we go. Um, we're gonna, I think, go this way. Am I gonna go that way? We're gonna go this way. I think this is the right way. I don't know what's down there, but eh, who cares? Okay. 
Okay. I know things are going to get possessed now. Watch. Oh, whoa, 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 glitch! No, don't do it. Don't do it. Thank God. All right, you know what? We're we're not doing this. We're we're going. Oh, I got to I got to get out. All right, you want this car to break? I'll break it. Don't you worry. Fucker! Anybody else? No? Didn't think so. Was there anything in the back of this truck? No, there wasn't. Alright. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Why couldn't I? Could I have driven? No, I guess not. The fence is there. Oh, Jesus. Chill out. Chill. Oh, you would. Oh god. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Huh. We gotta time this just right. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay, that's not the way. No, no, oh, you can't go under the arm? Oh, this isn't gonna be good. I tried to go like right under the arm, but I guess you had to stay on the outside. Man, that thing is loud. Really, really loud. All right, there's gonna be tons of people here, watch. Should I go in there or should I just get straight to the farm? Let's go in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Better stuff. Now this looks like an ambush spot, watch. After I get this. I'm calling it this time. Ambush. Flashbangs? Revolvers? I haven't had to use a flashbangs. Alright, I got three of them, though. I knew it. I knew it. Ambush. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Worth, I mean, how much, I got 31 bullets, we're good. Two flares, three flashbangs, we're good. As long as nothing crazy comes up, we're fine. I see Folgers right there. Um, that's about all I see right now, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, something, this is a boss battle, has to be. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars. But it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Help! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, new flashlight? Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, give me the heavy duty lantern. Oh wow, this thing is nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay. Oh! Okay. No, nope, that wasn't a good dodge. I thought it was. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty proud of that dodge. Oh, come on. Give me the ammo. Or the... Flashlight. Switch it.
more flashbangs. Nice. Ah! I saw him at the last second. We're gonna get out this hunting rifle. Ah, you son of a bitch. You, you fucker. Why is it so blurry? Like, that's the worst part. It's really throwing me off, the blurriness. Where'd he go? Barry, what are you doing? You ain't doing anything. They're not even attacking you, Barry. Come straight after me. Okay, okay. Okay, you wanna wait? You wanna wait for me to reload? Thank you. Oh my gosh, this dodge? I'm terrible at it, I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Barry, I swear to God, if you don't start picking all this up, man. Flashbang time. Too many of them. Get that. There we go. Oh wow, okay. Pretty good show. I like it. Nice. Ah, that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Oh, uh, we don't want that flashlight. We like this one better. Should we go to the shotgun? Let's see. How much ammo? Yep, we're going to the shiny. Alright, let's go, man. Good work, Barry. Good work. I knew you were good for something. Hmm, I missed the manuscript. Oh well, we're good. Your cutout's good as new, right where I live. Oh my it. god. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Barry, I got like 20 of those, man. You need to get this thing moved out of the way. It's, it's a little it's weird you keep on carrying my cutout around. A little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I could just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? 
thought so. Barry. You're weird, man. You're fucking weird. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, our night spring. Man, it's back memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Is this one of your episodes? In night spring. Oh. The dream of dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. The. We join Mr. Jones. He explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his finest over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Alright, we're not gonna watch this. We're not, I can't do it. But, I, that's interesting. So, he used to write, watch, uh, write for Night Falls, or Night Spring, whatever the show's called. All right, let's look at this manuscript. The Anderson Brothers it's in the 70s. 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Okay. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Alright. That's one way. There we go. Can I get down this way? No, I'm gonna have to fight my way back. Probably, yep. Alright. <sighs> Bet you I could jump down. Um Well let's see if I can jump down here. Nope. Oh! The sensitivity. Oh, come on. Take a shot. Thank you. I don't, oh, well. He came out of nowhere. Um, how did I get up here? Was there, oh, right here. Alright, what, you know what? I should have used the shotgun. There's ammo over here. Where'd Barry go? He just leave me? Oh, is this a boss? Oh, shit. Calm down, man. Why are you going so fast? The fuck you on? Oh, Folgers. I saw Folgers. Yeah, chill out, man. Gotta hate the sensitivity on this game. The fuck? Oh, you're done now. You're done. You're done. All right. Is there a shotgun ammo right here? That's right. There we go. And then let me get that Folgers. Where you? Where are you at, Barry? Over there? Barry, I'm coming. Okay, okay, Barry. Oh, Barry! I need help, Barry. Okay, you know what? Flashbang. Well, that's obviously not working very well. 
Is this thing gonna move? I could. Oh man, I threw that flashbang because I could have sworn that thing was gonna like fly at me like everything else. Um, there's something else I can do. Where's my flashlight? Just gonna be the only thing to. I guess it's just my flashlight. All right, sounds good. Barry, how did you get over there? You're no help, man. Sometimes I wonder about you. You're obsessed with me, then you don't help me. It's weird, man. Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! There's somebody running around up there. At least they're giving me some shotgun ammo. Alright, let's go kill him. Hello? Holy shit. Oh, no. You're done. Sit down. You okay, Al? I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Come on, stairs. Thank you. All right, who's next? Another flashlight? This one better? Heavy? Do Don't I already have heavy duty? I think I already have it, but oh well, who cares? Just in case. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder okay. every year? People seem to be I see. more drunk, at least, or they Who gives a fuck, man? And they're after me, is basically what they're saying. Oh, we gotta start this generator for sure. Bottom floor, please. It wasn't far now. Oh, wow. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. This thing is going to be alive, or do I drive it? I hope I can drive it. Can I drive it? Dang it. Man, that'd be nice. Alright. So. Somebody's coming here in a second. Oh God! Chill out. Yeah, you definitely gotta be kidding me. Holy shit! It won't knock this thing down. We're good. Okay, but we're not good because of people behind me. Oh! Did it knock it? Oh shit! No! Holy fuck! Get them! Kill your own! Oh yes! Perfect! Okay. Oh, we didn't kill him. Oh! It can't have a Y turn in Gradius. I just gotta stay close to it. That should be good. Okay. Well. 
Alright, man. I got an idea. We'll throw a flare down. We'll run this way. Oh! Oh, come on. Alright, where's a flashbang? I'm not dealing with you all right now. Chill out. Oh, fuck. Farming simulator! Oh! No! Take a left! Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Um... Is it just him? That's fine. If it's just this guy, I'm okay. This seems relatively easy compared to... Yeah, that's not a big deal. I wonder if there's anything in here. Open the silo door for Barry. Let's see, what's over here? I wonder if I have to go over here. Can I get back over? I'm sure there's... Oh, yeah, we can climb back there. Let's see what's in here. I had to go over here anyway. Never mind. Alright. Barry? Come on in. Weather's fine. What do you think I've been doing, Barry? No help to you. Open that up. Make yourself useful. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate out. Looks pretty heavy. Oh my gosh, Barry. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla? I like it, I like it. Marvel vibes. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. <laughs> yeah, this house don't look infested at all. Um, old gods know the truth. Alright. Chainsaw stuck in the yep, that's gonna come to play later, watch. Shoot sensitivity. Hello? Lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Any anybody home? Hello? The power downstairs was out. I knew I it. Sure, I could fix that at the fuse box. Fuse box is probably in the basement. A creepy basement. Watch. Who tears the door off of the refrigerator? Man, they must have been hungry. Who does that? That's rude. Would you get out of the way, Barry? Barry, you're like a lost puppy right now. Get out. Get stop following me. Do your own thing, Barry. You're fine. Maybe a fuse box is upstairs. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were... Um, oh god, still know the truth, okay. Manuscript. The mystery, the mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer. A time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Alright, we gotta finally figure out what happened. Um, no coffee. Fuse box. Let there be light! Nice. Can you put away your flashlight now? Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. So fix the record. Okay. Okay, 
We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Terrible song. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Let's do it. What could go wrong? Lights on. We're drunk. It's fine. You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer. God damn <laughs> Stupid it. Stupid cutout. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Barry looks like he has his eyes open sleep. He's a weirdo. Man, burn that thing. I wouldn't want that if that was me. I wouldn't want to cut out of myself all ways around. Just burn it. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So I'm going to find out what happened. I'm a ghost. I'm one of the Taken. Oh, wow. This is third person. I like it. Okay. Alice, Alice, where are you? Come on, Alice. Go. Alice, I'm coming. I wonder if it's true gameplay from what I did or if it's just... It was crazy, drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there. An out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember Alice? being surprised Alice? to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> oh shit. I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Um, Maybe she didn't drown after all. Which window? Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What is that? Huh. Alice! Did you play a joke on me? The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Fight me, bitch. Fight me. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You Ap laugh at the whole thing together. And apologize? What are we apologizing for? She's the one that fucking jumped. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. <laughs> oh, hush. Terrible scream. Hope. 
Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. So I'm confused. Does he see her or is she just talking? You can write and he her hears her. The story will come and thinks it's just his own thoughts. Will be well again. That's what I'm thinking. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. I hope she don't need all the pages. I've kind of left a couple behind. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. Hey, you need a you need a a suit like that. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. Take one off of Amazon. To escape. Oh shit! The barber just kills Zane. We spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. What the fuck? Okay. Wow, that was the end of the episode. Okay, so now we know what happened. That filled a lot of missing gaps. And now this guy's trying to kill me. That's, uh... That's the uh, FBI agent that was, um... Trying to get me. So we finished episode four. Thank you for watching. That took about, what... Almost 50 minutes. Um, we will definitely get through episode 5 all in one sitting. Like I said, these episodes are getting longer and longer. I think the last one was about 50 minutes as well, so almost two hours. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching so much. If, you, uh, if you're if you watching this and you enjoy it, please go ahead and follow my gaming page. Give this a like, share it, do whatever you have to. Especially if you're quarantined, there's nothing else better to do. So mine as well. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, don't get the corona. Have a good one.